Welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna. If you're new here, if you're not new here, welcome back. Thanks for returning. So today I thought it would be a good idea to finish off my bathroom remodel series to actually walk you guys through my wheelchair accessible bathroom. So and to explain why we did each thing and um so that if you have a similar situation like or to me maybe my ideas or what we did will help you hey guys this is um just an observation on what i have heard and have seen throughout the years keep in mind i am not a doctor or any medical professional. Okay, so I wanted to film real quick a little clip explaining why I feel like this this video is so necessary. Oh, by the way, whatever products I do mention, this is not sponsored by them or by any entity. This is just because I feel like this is something I wish my parents and I had 20 years ago when we first built this house. I wish somebody would have made this type of video for us to use going forward. I was born with cerebral palsy and I am a motorized wheelchair user. Now, in the video that I watched from people remodeling their house are spinal cord injuries or they have a non-motorized wheelchair. I am not a doctor <laughs> or a PT. So, I am just coming from the perspective of being a specific quadriplegic um, person who uses a motorized wheelchair. These are also videos that I wish my parents had when they were first building our house. Then, so I am just creating this resource for you to uh, hopefully help you guys. Maybe you don't have a CP or you're not a birth defect, but maybe you are in a similar position as me or have elderly parents and need to adjust their home. Whatever you need, I just want to be a, this a series in my channel to be a resource for people. So, with that being said, Alright, uh, let's go through my wheelchair, my wheelchair accessible bathroom. So, the first part I am going to talk about is my sink. Um, this is um, a quartz countertop. We also decided to do a square sink because my curvature, it allows me to have more room when I walk. So I do it like this. I like wash my hands outward. So it gives me more room to do square views to have around. But what we did this time going around is we also have the faucets on the side so that it's easy access for me now. So that I can easily turn it on and off by myself. If I, when I do wash my hands. And then um, the drain thing is you just pull it. Yeah, so the thing about this is that you just have to, if you want to plug the drain, all you have to do is push it down and it will plug it up. So that's why we did that. And then the towel, we did the towel hanger on my right side because um, the wall. <laughs> And so we used to have, um, we used to have like little drawers. My parents did that originally to give me a little bit of storage on my side, but I do it, I like it much better this way because it gives me more room and more clearance for my chair. And we just use like rolling carts instead, which my cart video will be coming up very soon. So if you want me to show you 
How would you do that? Keep waiting for that video. So coming over here, I want to start with the wall heater and kind of explain our thinking with that. For those people that don't know, I have a wall heater down in my downstairs basement. The reason why we did a wall heater, first, people were like, let's do the heated floors. Everybody knows what heated floors are. Like, it's the floors that are heated, which are very nice. But they forgot that I can't feel them because I'm not walking on them. However, I have a, a heated a wall heater in my downstairs basement shower and so that was a one of my requests for this bathroom was I wanted a wall heater so that in the winter time if I have no slippers on I could easily turn this on and put my feet under or um more of my feet as well in the winter. Now, going directly above that, there are rockets for, or rockets for just, I love these things. And if you are disabled, especially if it's you or in a wheelchair, you're gonna love these things. So it is so much easier. So it is so much easier for me to turn on and off this light with these rather than the using my fine motor skills and doing a typical light switch um, that you might see in another home. So eventually I would like for them to be all replaced or replace them all and have Roger. I love my heater. I love the fact that I have a, a Roger switch right here. But my heater is probably one of my favorite things in here. Obviously, I had my parents put up a bar because um, I feel more secure with a bar um, attached to the wall. And it allows me a little um, privacy. My next area that I want to mention is odd, but it, I have a reason for it. So this is a washlet, which it is a bidet. So I'm going to do a separate video on my washlet just because I want to go more in depth with the features and how I like it as the, the primary user. that I'm going to talk about is why we did barn doors and yes these are barn doors okay so the reason why we did the door was we thought we did not have enough room for um, a pocket door and my heater and um or the wall heater and the plug for my washroom so with that being said um, but it ended up being fine, or it ended up being fine. I like the style of the barn doors, and so the door was, by the time we decided to not, or found that piece up, the door was already out, so we had to replace it anyway. So, yay, yay us. We got five doors, so with that being said, let's move on to the shower. On to the most important part and why we did this whole remodel in the first place is Honor Girl is getting too heavy for her parents and, um, or for me to be lifted and out of the bathtub. Behold the shower. And why we did it. Now, this is called a zero entry shower. Now, that means there's no hump. But we did a little bit of a... So that way, when a caregiver slash my parents put me into my shower trip, there's no loop. 
if you go watch my downstairs video on my downstairs shower, there is a huge lip and my mom has almost slipped on that hump so many times. It's dangerous to be honest. So, um, we did a zero entry shower and you can look up on Pinterest or Google zero entry showers. Now there is a slope so that um, the water does not get out of the shower area. It gets a little wet but it's never, it's, it's not enough to like flood the bathroom. So that is one of the things that, that was a non-negotiable for mom and I because she almost has fallen. If my mom falls, what's gonna happen to me? So, so this is the shower. And now you will see two heads. And I did that on purpose because that way I'm not getting cold because I get my muscles get tighter. So that's not good because that means I'm not as movable with um, my caregivers. Oh, the heads are adjustable as well. So that, that means they're, they can go up and down and just if a taller person is in there or an able-bodied person is in there or it can easily be adjusted to if I'm in here. Along with the two heads comes two the water controls. So each shower head has each handle. Or they're a separate handle. Now, why we have grab bars is because in, in the event that I one day do get stronger and can't get myself out of the shower by myself and if there's ever an emergency that I need to become more independent with my showers and I need to get myself out of the shower I can do so. I can do so so we have one that's horizontal and then one that's vertical because horizontal is easier for me to grab but um but we did vertical just because that I do need to practice on like grab if I need to use it to get out I need okay let's go to the niche so yes this is a very large for the niche this is a very large niche. No, my mom did that on purpose because that way um, you can easily pump the shampoo or the conditioner without having to place it in your hand. And you also have it lower when I get independent with showering or somewhat independent. I will never be fully independent. When I do get more independent with my showers, um, I will not have to lift. It's low enough that I can reach the shampoo bottle and my soap and like my conditioner. So I wanted to take a quick minute to show my appreciation for everybody that worked on my wheelchair accessible bathroom. I absolutely love it. It is so handy to not have one upstairs. So in the winter time, we don't have it. I don't think best. Thank you to my brother and my dad for doing the demo. Thank you to Grisola Homes for coordinating everybody. And thank you to Garcia Tile for doing a wonderful job on the I absolutely love it. Thank you to Black Mod Stone for my countertop and also thank you to Michigan Electric for doing all the lights. Also to Premier Plumbing Virginia and Tile and of course um, Dummy and Dougie's disposal. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Remember to keep on rolling and I will see you in my next video. Bye.